Hello, and welcome to my first episode of Fun with Q Shell. Uh, first, I'd like to uh, announce a few disclaimers before I begin this series. Um, I'll probably type them up and include them on the notes below at some point, but uh, I do not claim to be an expert with Q Shell. I'm not a programmer. Uh, use these scripts at your own risk. Uh, some of my coding is probably fairly poor if you're looking at it from a developer's point of view. If you're a simple systems administrator without a developer's background, they're probably genius. So, um, the first one I'd like to show you today is a very simple one, just to add image catalog entries into an image catalog. Um, I've created two different versions of this script, um, but a couple of assumptions first. Uh, we'll look at this system here. Uh, we're going to assume that you have an image catalog already created. In this case, we're going to use v7r2 PTFs. Uh, that's empty and has uh, IFS directory of your choice, but in this case, uh, it's the same as the uh, catalog name. And you have an optical, uh, virtual optical drive already created, and it's not currently uh, mounted to a different image catalog. You also will have to have downloaded the images into the IFS already. Uh, once you have all that, um, I've created this little script to help populate the image catalogs. There are other ways of doing this, but uh, this is fun with QShell. So I'm just going to show you the script first and then we'll run it. Um, the simple version of the script I place in the directory that has the images. And you can see um, it's pretty simple. I do a CD to that directory. Uh, 4fn is a loop that will um, basically list any bin file in that directory and put it through uh, as a variable into a loop and run these commands for that variable. So what this would do is every bin file in there it would add it to the image catalog, break the loop, load it, and verify it. All pretty simple. Um, the more advanced version, which is just for fun, uh, will do a few other things and it's a little more um, versatile. Um, first, when you run it, you're going to notice it's going to ask you a couple questions to which you reply to and it loads them as variables. Does the same for loop, only this time it will grab for a bin file, ISO, or UDF file and load those into the image catalog, uh, add it into the image catalog, load it, and verify it. So let's go ahead and run that right now. I'm going to go into QShell. I'm going to cd to my scripts location. And I'll run add image catalog entry dot sh script. And I'm going to load a PTF image catalog. It's going to be called v7r2 PTFs on this system. IFS location, v7r2 PTFs. And the optical drive is opt vrt01 it will go through and do all the work for me now and if everything goes well that's exactly what you should see you can F3 out of QShell do your work image catalog you'll notice it is ready to go all of the entries are now in there for me it didn't have any ISO or UDF files in this particular example but trust me it does work that's it for session one let me know your feedback. Um, if you are a developer or know other tricks or a way to improve the code, please do comment below or send me that. I will definitely update this if I find more efficient ways or just better ways of writing the code. I definitely will do that. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.